craziest day today. So it basically started out because I was watching TV before school and it's basically 150 degrees out. It's like, no thank you, I'm wearing flip-flops to school. And because they're technically against dress code, everyone basically treats you like you're guilty of war crimes or something. But yeah, so I get to school I'm, and I have to go to school early because I have this stupid health class because I did this stupid band thing that I'm not doing anymore. Anyway, so I get to school early and it's like 6 in the morning. Everyone's like, oh my god, you're wearing flip-flops. And then my health teacher walks up and she's like, you should go change. Do you have shoes? And I'm like, no. And she's like, oh, you should call home. So I went to the bathroom, used my cell phone. And I'm like, Dad, will you bring me shoes? And he's like, sure. And then I'm like, okay. So I went back to health. She's like, did you call home? And I'm like, yep, the shoes are coming. So anyway, after the, er after the early class, I went to the office, got the shoes. So yeah, I threw them in my locker. I'm like, no, I'm not wearing them. <laughs> so anyway, like first hour comes by, my first hour teacher's like, oh, I love your shoes. And I'm like, thank you. And my second hour doesn't notice. No one notices until I get to fifth hour. Not my teacher, we had a substitute. And so basically, we don't do anything when we have a substitute in that class. So I was bored. And so I saw this lady I knew from my church there and, and during lunch. And so I like, I'm like, I'm gonna go find what classroom she's in because she substitute teaches sometimes. Anyway, so I decided to go walk around the entire school. That's about 20 minutes of my fourth, fifth hour. It was, um, never found her, I'll be honest, but anyway, I found this evil person, one of the student dress code enforcers, whatever they're called. Anyway, so I just do this and he's like, I'm just like walking and he's like, uh, your shoes are against the dress code and I'm like, your face is against the dress code. He's like, okay, you need to come to the dean and I'm like, no. And he's like, what's your name? And I'm like, I'm not telling you. And so I just walk off to my fifth hour. Still boring. So like two minutes later, he comes back with the dean's pass. So I go to the dean's office, and he's just sitting there in the corner, being all like, mm, mm, "I was right." Mm, mm. And so anyway, I get back to the dean's office. My regular dean's office. My regular dean is not there, and he's cute. So that made me sad. So I had to go to the evil lady dean. So I do that. It's just like. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not like, it's flip-flops, it's not murder or anything. <laughs> so anyway, she doesn't even call me into the office. She just walks out into the waiting room and she's like, Why are you wearing flip-flops? And I'm like, because it's hot. And she's like, I'm not wearing flip-flops and it's hot. I'm like, you get to sit here in the air-conditioned dean's office all day. And she's like, okay, that's talking back. That's insubordination. I'm writing you up. So I get five demerits, and that five demerits is like nothing. You can need a hundred to get suspended. Anyway, so she's like, okay, go change your shoes now. I'm like, okay. I go to my locker, get my shoes, put them on, walk all the way back to the dean's office. That's like ten minutes. And so I get there, and she's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you're wearing shoes. All right, leave. And she just never punished me for not having shoes on. Er, and so I walk all the way back to my fifth hour, and finally it's like, two minutes before the bell rings, so I basically missed all of fifth hour. But my issue with this situation, not so much, is that I got punished, it's that it just seems so stupid. It's like, how how does the de how do I lose in this situation? I hated my fifth hour. So it's basically like, I get to leave my fifth hour for like 90% of it, and then I get to go sit in the air-conditioned dean's room, which is just wonderful because it's like 150 degrees in our unair-conditioned school because our district is cheap. Anyway, so I get to sit in the air-conditioned dean's room and for like 10 minutes and, and I don't even get punished. I get punished for insubordination, but not for wearing flip-flops. And exactly, and I can't even serve a detention because it's, this is literally the last day before finals. 
and we can't get detentions during finals, and I can't get any more demerits because it's finals, and they can't issue demerits during finals, and so it's like, why? Did, why? Who loses in this situation? You do. You do. I win. I missed fifth hour. I get to sit in the air-conditioned room, and I don't have to do any punishment. So, anyway, that was my day. How was your day? Bye. Wrong button.